Welcome everyone to our supplement review of the day, which is caffeine for fat loss, right? Obviously fat loss is very important, you know, when we talk about body composition, and caffeine certainly could be a great tool for this. Now, in our last caffeine talk, we talked about caffeine being sort of a stimulant, right? Um, you know, getting you amped up and going, but, it, but, but one thing to understand about caffeine is that caffeine also elevates our metabolisms. So if you look at 24 hour metabolism, if you took like consume caffeine two times a day, it actually be maybe a couple hundred calories higher if you had caffeine versus not having caffeine. So that's really cool too. And, and the next thing to understand is that caffeine actually stimulates fat burning processes. Now, how is that the case? <clears throat> caffeine works from what we call the sympathetic pathway or uh, adrenal or adrenaline stimulated pathway or epinephrine stimulated pathway. Think about it, when we get amped up, adrenaline goes and it gets us amped up and it also causes us to burn fat. Adrenaline binds to the fat cells and it stimulates what we call a messenger molecule. And that messenger molecule uh, is called CAMP, okay? Um, uh, or cyclic AMP. Not to make it super complex, but basically, Adrenaline binds a receptor and sends a messenger out. That messenger is called CAMP, and it goes and tells the fat cell to break down fat into fatty acids that you can burn with the more with your elevated metabolism. But there's an enzyme in the muscle that quickly breaks down CAMP. So the messenger, it kills the messenger. You're gonna say, don't kill the messenger. Well, there's an enzyme in the muscle that kills the messenger, so you don't keep burning fat. I wish you could keep burning fat all day, but you don't. But guess what caffeine does? Okay, imagine basically, um, you know, whatever, it's like a football game, okay? You hand the ball off to the running back, the running back is camp. It's going for the fat cell, okay, which is the enzyme. And then an enzyme comes in, tackles it. Well, before it can tackle it, right, you got the wide receiver comes and makes a killer block, and it blocks that enzyme, and now camp gets into the enzyme. Caffeine is that wide receiver that blocks, essentially, um, uh, uh, the person from knocking off camp. And so you keep burning fat, and that's how it works, okay? So studies show, four-week studies show, that if uh, people who are taking caffeine versus not taking caffeine burn more fat and lose more fat during the four-week time period. And that's really interesting. So it can help you lose fat over a four-week period of time. There's another study that was done by Davuti, and they did six weeks of dieting and four weeks of maintenance. And on the four weeks of maintenance, they had people either on caffeine or not on caffeine. Now what happens when you go back up to maintenance calories? It never works out like that and you gain fat. You're not maintaining the fat unless you start to gain fat. Well, the people who are on caffeine during the maintenance period actually didn't gain any fat. The people who are not on caffeine gained fat back. So maybe what this is telling us is that <clears throat> we might want to just use caffeine near the very end of our cut and into maintenance, when we go into maintenance. Um, because uh, what happens after dieting, our metabolism is lower, but you can stimulate a higher metabolism and start to take in more calories in the maintenance phase if you use caffeine there. But if you kind of burn out throughout your whole cut using caffeine, it won't help you. Now. Does caffeine work in the long term? Studies that are like 12 to 24 weeks long show caffeine doesn't really help with fat loss. Why? Because you get used to it. So what this says is that for fat loss, we need to cycle ca off caffeine, you know, either during the week or we should cycle caffeine every four to six weeks to maintain our sensitivity to caffeine to keep us burning fat. How much should we take? Probably for fat loss, it's gonna be um, 200 to 400 milligrams, maybe two times, two times a day. Definitely not more than three, but two times a day. One question, I was just talking to Fernando um, uh, earlier, and everything that is cool about this video right now is because Fernando's a badass, okay? But he basically, we were talking about, it's like, what, what do you do when you, how do you cycle off of caffeine? One thing I really like is ketones. Ketones are an outstanding supplement because they actually uh, get you amped up, but they're a non-stimulant. So I would highly recommend exogenous ketones when you cycle off of caffeine and also ketones seem to keep your metabolism amped. So, so you think, oh, I'm going to be down and out. No, no, take ketones and it'll help you get back up. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.